What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to Gibraltar United. So, here we are now, we're about four games into the season, or the domestic season. We're entering our fourth league game of the season. Uh, so let's jump into this and I'll start off with a, quite a bit of bad news. Or, it, not like con uh, catastrophic news, but it's bad news nevertheless. So, uh, in the boardroom we knew that we were going to be getting new training and youth facilities. However, the date of completion changed from the 20th or the 29th and the 10th, 2018 to 2019. And typically, whenever you see that happen, what it means is your facilities aren't going to be upgraded. So, because of course when I originally had the planned facilities to be improved, we had our old owner. Now with our new owner in place, clearly them plans don't get put forward and I thought they did. So that's a real, real... <laughs> bad like point for me to notice some you know bad point on my behalf so uh youth facilities i've asked for both training and youth facilities to be upgraded again was unable to get the training facilities done but i've got the youth facilities done so that'll be coming into uh, play hopefully next season uh, which is it's just a massive shame i was really looking forward to seeing with the improved youth facilities you know what kind of youth we were going to get through and not only that with the training facilities we can improve you know the players we've currently got more and it, just a massive shame like i said i did ask for both i was only able to get one uh, that is due to be completed in 2019 the same date as uh, the other two above but so frustrating to have not been able to have got that uh, stupid new owner <laughs> uh, elsewhere transfer wise i don't think anything happened since i last saw you uh, actually i lie there were two loanies um jack baldwin left uh, to go on loan with Europe to europa point right back what's his report looking like not particularly great but he's gone out and he'll be getting first team football not doing particularly well there so far and scott farrington also went out on loan he's a left back and right back i think more left back in a year and he's gone out there played a f uh, featured in a few games and not done particularly well either but they're getting first team football and that is a really good thing so the start of season itself i think it's best to just view on competitions and we're going to go on this and the one I want to sort of turn your attention to is this. Yeah. We were unable to win the Pepe Reyes Cup. We lost 2-0 to Lincoln in the process. Abysmal. I, I don't know how we... Uh, we'll have a look at the match in a second, but not good enough. Really was It really wasn't good enough. Uh, in the league, we have performed exactly as, would, as we would be expected. Let's go on actual the Premier Division here. Uh, but yeah, we've done it. We've been performing exactly as as you would expect us to. Three wins out of three, fourteen goals scored, twice as many as anyone else in the league, and only three goals conceded, half as many as anyone else in the league, or near about half. So, you know, we've been performing really well. And if you look at that, if you look at Lincoln, eighth in the table, zero wins so far this season, two defeats. Who are they two? Gibraltar Scorpions and Lions, and yet we couldn't beat them in the. So frustrating. Let's go into that game now because it's obviously going to be a talking point there. So, uh, the Pepe Reyes Cup, we lost 2-0 and walked away with a quite embarrassing defeat in my eyes. And if you look at the match stats, we had a lot of ball. We had a lot of shots, but they were not good enough. They weren't good shots. And in the end, that's that's what was the difference between the two teams. They managed to get two goals quite late on in the game in the 71st and 82nd minute. Really, us going forward... We didn't present really much of anything. No real quality going forward. A lot of quantity, but no quality when we were attacking in their half. So, as a result, we were unable to get the goal. And I'm more disappointed in the fact we conceded two goals. We were so good defensively last year. To, score, to, to concede two as we did in quite quick succession is quite poor. And uh, I don't remember the goals. I don't think they were particularly anything special. Uh, but yeah, really, really poor way to start our domestic season but we've turned it around we've won or really not turned it around but we've got back on track back on what we really should be doing which is beating teams like britannia 5-1 with gregory getting a hat trick we beat Lynx 6-2 gregory getting a hat trick and we beat angels 3-0 gregory also getting in the goals there so gregory has scored in every game this season uh but yeah it's just that disappointing result there which has really really annoyed me uh with my under 21s there has been some really good news, as you can see. Uh, I don't remember when I last... Actually, the last time I left you off was the um, 
was the Kazakhstan game because we, you know, once the season starts again, we get jump into it. So since I last saw you, we lost 2-1 to Bosnia and Herzegovina and we lost 3-0 to Hungary. But those aren't the results I want to focus on. I want to focus on these two friendlies. In the under-21s game against Albania, we lost, we drew 4-4, but it might as well have been a loss. If we look at this game, we were 4-0 up after 31 minutes. And now any team with any integrity, any half-decent players in them should not throw away a four-goal lead. But somehow we did. We conceded two before the turn of the half, which meant at halftime it was still 4-2. And once they scored them two at the, before the end of the set, first half, I knew we were going to draw or either lose the game. I'm glad at least we didn't lose the game because it would have annoyed me even more. But it was so disappointing to see us come so close to getting our first ever win and quite a big margin of victory as well to throw it away. But then we turned to the next game and we did get our first ever victory with me in charge. And despite falling behind after in fifth, after 15 minutes, we managed to turn it around. We got you know the lead before the half hour mark and we were able to walk away with a victory. And this is playing the formation I play, or the, the Champions League formation my Gibraltar United team would play. And as you can see, they're doing really well now against people like the Faroe Islands against Albania. Nations, well, Albania definitely is a decent nation, a lot higher than really teams we should be beating, but really encouraging nevertheless. And uh, we've got a friendly coming up in November against, or a bit later on in November, against Wales. And that should be an interesting game. It should be a game where hopefully we can win. Other big news surrounding my under-21s is people like Victor Lopez. I was able for the first time to call Victor Lopez up into the team. And uh, it, was only, it would be his only time as well. He played two games out of the two. As you see, he's now 22, so he's now ineligible to be selected. Uh, but if I go on to his information, which is what I wanted to do, uh, he was now eligible for both Gibraltar and Spain. And I put him in the team. So hopefully in the future, or not in the future, by next squad selection, the senior manager, the manager of the actual senior squad, will be putting him in. I don't know. I think he's apparently a little bit worse than Alex Reyes, according to whoever does these reports. But according to my team reports, which are people of pretty decent ability and potential scouting, you know, Alex Reyes is behind Lopez. But, you know, I think Lo uh, Lopez or Victor Lopez should be involved in the Gibraltar squad very soon, which is really, really good. As well, news surrounding him with the actual Gibraltar United um, is that I tied him down to a new deal. I actually signed him on to a part-time deal for the first time ever. Now, he's on a massive wage, as he should be starting today, but he's on a massive wage, which is £300 a week. And the fact is, with him on £300 a week, uh, Tom Harrison said that he was unhappy with the wage he was being paid in relation to other people in the team. So he asked for a wage increase, which means now he's on £210 a week. So we're paying quite a large proportion of our wage bill now to the back or two people in the defense and in fact our whole sort of goalkeeper in defense is our largest proportion of wage bill in the whole squad uh, but it, it, it's you know it should really benefit him you know it should develop him even though his potential sort of dipped a little I felt it was time that we did try and tie him down in fact I probably should have done it before realistically actually I'm going to start with Baldwin I probably should have done it before it might have been really beneficial for his development if I had uh, but, you know, better late than never in a way. And plus, you know, I showed you the right backs in Gibraltar. There aren't any better ones currently. So Victor Lopez is the best guy from my scouting knowledge that I can get. So I might as well tie him down to an actual deal. So uh, let's go into the game. And let's go into this match against Gibraltar Scorpions. So last, uh, look at that. What's that? How many games is they at? One match. So in the verses, we've won eight, won seven out of the eight, I should say. And we really should be winning this one today. Victor Lopez starts his first game since coming back from injury. Then uh, the two games he played in the international for the under-21s were actually his first two games of the season after he picked up his injury, which ruled him out of the European games. Uh, elsewhere, Burns going to be on the bench. He should be... Montegrifo. Yep, yep, yep. <coughs> yep. Those should be all the people in the team. Also, you can see that Cornelio is currently in uh, not in the squad at all. And that's because he spoke out and said, look, I want to leave the squad. Get me out of here ASAP. I can't, I don't know if he'll accept a mutual termination. Maybe he will, actually. Let me offer it now. Would he be willing to leave the club? £1.5,000. How much is he on a week? 130 100 and... Where is he? He's not even on that. He's on 80. Uh, sorry about the cut there, guys. I just wanted to do a quick calculation. And I figured out that actually it would save us money to release him. So, yep, we're going to release you. 
<laughs> so Cornelio has left aside. Uh, that was just, as you see, quite did it. Quite literally just did it then. But what it does mean is Christian De Rosario, who has been a, been at this squad now for a long time, since the first season, but has not featured since the first season, will be on the bench for the club and maybe even featuring in the future. So that's good. And what it will also mean as well is a young striker will also get to be your sort of the fourth choice to the team in that striker position. Okay, so let's get into this game now. So two substitutes outside the team, that's fine. Uh, I think Gibraltar United have too much quality for Gibraltar Scorpions. It should be a comfortable win for them. The absence of Juan Francisco Luis, Luqui, uh, Perez and Luis Bran, Brainfather, Bra Barnfather, sorry, <laughs> will also be hard to hit for them. So I'm expecting a win as I always do now. You can see the team there. I like the new little thing. I don't know when this was updated into it, but I like that. Uh, you know, it tells you the roles for your players. And, uh, yep, Marcus, tell them to pick up where they left off. And let's go. Let's dive headfirst into this game. And hopefully continue up our good scoring record in the league this season. And let's also hope that our only three defeats of the season will be against Dynamo and one of them against Lincoln. Let's hope that we can go undefeated this year. You know, count, you know, that poor little blip start against... Uh, Lincoln as exactly that a blip and you know say well fresh start start of the league season was the start of our official domestic season undefeated from this point on earning a treble and then next year we'll come at them for a quad as uh, so we're passing it around very nicely here in the first minute of the match and this could even be a chance if we can see maybe a run out on the left I don't think there is one to actually see oh Montgomery been brought down Brown out wide to Lopez Lopez Whipping this one in, Gregory is there, and Gregory has scored. He's continued scoring in every league game this season. It's his 11th goal of the season as well. Lopez getting his first assist, and also, like I said, his first start since actually appearing for Gibraltar, for a Gibraltarian uh, na uh, national team. I really, really do hope that Victor Lopez does get in the team in the future. A bit like Burgess. I hope Burgess does change his mind and I am able to sort of call him up and try and bring him into the team in the future uh, because it would be a real ni nice addition to the national team, I think, if we could try and actually push them through. And also something as well is you can see Burgess is starting today. I am going to be trying to really push him through this year. I'm going to give him every single game this season I can. And by that, I mean, you know, if he's tired, of course, I won't. I'll, I'll put him on the bench. If he's whatever for whatever reason suspended, unavailable, whatever, you know, of course I'm I'm gonna he's not gonna be able for selection, but I am gonna try and play him in every game I I possibly can and give him this year to really develop. If he doesn't develop, you know, to the standard I'd be happy with, I will probably drop him and we'll go with Burn for the next two three years until we can find a good left back coming through someone's youth system. Typically. All the good young players from Gibraltar are coming through Lincoln's youth system. I think they have a better youth system than, youth system than anyone else. So, uh, you know, that's, that seems to be where we're going to be relying on or leaning on for a lot of our good players. Uh, Coling not having a good game, but we'll bring the sub on. We'll make a team talk as well. We'll encourage the lads calmly. Really, they should be doing better going forward again. Bit of a... Consistent problem with us, or not problem, but really just a little bit of an annoyance because our strikers do score a lot of goals, but for large spells of the match, they don't perform up to the standard they can. As Colin with a good save from the free kick could have troubled him. I'll bring Montegriffo on, and I think we'll also bring Colin on, and we'll put Barcelo up front. We won't, we won't give Di Rosario his chance yet to make his first appearance for the club in, was that four seasons, I think it was. <laughs> Been, it's been a long time coming. I, he may have played in the cup. I'm not too sure in the second season I was here. As Montgomery is through and... Oh, my God. He's hit the crossbar with an open goal. My God. Get him off the pitch. He's... Oh, come on, ref. Get him off the pitch. He's clearly injured. He clearly can't kick a ball straight. Something's wrong with his leg. We've got to get him off. His Burgess whipping this one in. And it is Coling there to Durate. And you know what? You see what I mean? Coling. I've, I've taken him off now. But his rating will increase because he's picked up an assist. It was a brilliant ball from Burgess to find Coling. And Coling with a very well-weighted header to get it into the path of Durate for him to finish that one. So, 2-0 a little bit better. Should Could really be asking for more. That may be me just being greedy. But then again, we have got a lot of quality. We are able to get to the second qualifying phase of the Champions League. Uh, also, I haven't actually shown you how the other teams did in the Europa League. I'll do that after the match. As uh, Brown to Barcelo. 
Playing it out wide onto the right hand side is Baldwin. Out to Lopez. The way it played this one in. No, Brown. Oh, with a thunderous shot. And Durate is able to get there, but it was a really good shot from Brown. Unable to actually get it past Thomas in goal. And Durate is able to double his goal scoring tally for the day. And that will surely wrap up the goal scoring for this match. A, a, a score line I'd expect now 3 0. Nice clean sheet. And also, you know, a good amount of goals scored at the other end. It's Durate. Oh, Gregory. Gregory manages to make it for an injury time goal from Callum Gregory. Which means his previous match in which we beat... Oh, God, I can't even remember it. Lynx. Was it Lynx? No, it wasn't Lynx. It was... um. God, did we play in the last match? Angels. I think it was. In the previous match when we played Angels, it would be his lowest goal-scoring tally for this season with just one goal domestically. Oh, in the league anyway. Because, of course, that damn Pepe Reyes Cup. Gregory, why couldn't you find your shooting boots in that match? <laughs> Anyway, 4-0 on the day. Gregory with a really good performance as well as Durate as well. Collings' match rating actually didn't go up. But there you go, top of the top of the table. Four wins out of four. Beating a team who are pretty good as well. Uh, and fans are chuffed. Send the assistant there. And uh, I wanted to show you the other teams who played in Europe. So, of course, Lincoln were one of the teams to actually feature in Europe this season. Uh, they... Actually, didn't do too badly. They had Hearts this time round, which is a, of course, really tough team. Scottish Premier League. I think that's the Scottish Premier League now. They're not. They're Scottish Championship. I know they just got relegated from the Premier League. But, they, yeah, Scottish Championship is still a decent team. Uh, they, don't, I, you know, Lincoln put up a good fight. You know, they 3-0 and 2-0. Uh, you know, not too bad. Respectable score lines. You know, doesn't look, you know, not a score line that shows the golfing quality that there actually is between the teams. So, I wouldn't say that was too bad. And also the other team to feature in Europe were, um, where are you? There we are, Gibraltar Scorpions. They lost 2-0 and 3-0 to a team from the Serbian Superliga. And uh, you know what, again, not too bad. You know, 2-0 and 3-0. Respectable score lines, not too bad. You know, putting up at least a decent display. Didn't actually play too well in the, in the second leg. Or in the first leg. So you know what? It must have been some mistakes that led to goals. And oh, they had a man sent off. You know what? I still want to say that was too bad for their first ever appearance in Europe. Gibraltar Scorpions. They put up a real good fight. And you know what? That's encouraging signs. If them two teams can get into Europe next season. It'd be interesting to see how they could actually do. So are they actually... Are Lincoln... Are Gibraltar Scorpions semi-pro? They are. Okay. But yeah, this... You know, not looking too bad in terms of Europe. We're managing to get in, get through the first round. Uh, other teams are putting up good fights. How long is Montgomery out for? I didn't actually see that. God damn it. Two weeks. Both my right midfielders are injured. That's the last thing I particularly need. Uh, but yeah, this will be it for now, guys. Next time I plan to meet you back will be the Rock Cup second round game. So we've got a lot of games to go through next time. Um, we'll have all the Senior League Cup as well stuff to have gone through. And I think even the... Senior League Cup up until the semi-final would be done if my memory can if my memory is correct. Let's have a look at last year. Um, oh no, the second round actually probably not a fair reflection on when I should next meet you back. Actually, I will probably meet you back for one of the one of the games around here. I think because there will be a lot of cup games. Hopefully, if we get through, if not, I'll meet you back at some other point. Either way, you know, whenever we whenever I meet you back next. Until then, peace out.